Hi, good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? 9 a.m. day two, feels pretty good. Uh, my name's Dan Bounds. I'm with AMD, uh, and I wanted to uh, take a little bit of your time today, and thank you for being here, to walk through some exciting news that we have, both on uh, an AMD front as well as our collaboration with Microsoft, which some of you may have seen yesterday. Part of what is so exciting right now for AMD is, um, you may have read in the press, we're, we're on the cusp of coming back into the data center market after a bit of a hiatus. A lot of that has to do with making sure that we're coming back into this market with a, a core and a, and a processor that really matches the, the needs uh, and the in innovation that's occurring in the data center today. Uh, and, and extending that out from an OCP perspective uh, to the greater community through our partnership with Microsoft. So we really do believe that uh, with the, the features and the capabilities that we're bringing to market with this new Naples processor, and by the way, Naples is a code name. Uh, clearly, this is a, a product that will come to market uh, in the second quarter of this year. Uh, but as we ramp up to that, we wanted to make sure that everybody had the chance to get to, uh, get to know Naples before it actually hits the market. So we started to release some, some feature sets that we think are really important. Uh, and a lot of what makes Naples Naples is, is deeply rooted in the history of what made AMD great in the data center. If you take a look at the modern server today, you know, there's a couple of aspects to it that are really, really important for it being what we all use. So first piece is, you know, 64-bit is, is pervasive. You expect to have 64-bit. More importantly, today, you expect to have parallelism in the form of multi-core processing. You expect to have high-speed coherent interconnects. You expect to be able to leverage the, the underlying silicon with extensions up into uh, virtualization and abstraction layers and you expect to have integrated memory controllers. And from our perspective, these are all really important innovations because they were all AMD first. And this is not to brag, this is to say that from an AMD perspective, we've had the privilege of being an, an agent for change and an agent for innovation in this market. Uh, and as you, as you think through the heritage of AMD in the data center, all these things were really, really important and, and necessary as we move into this new era of data center computing, and you see this from the uh, emerging workloads in big data, fast data, uh, the increased uh, reliance on software to find everything, the underlying hardware, and we argue a lot in the, in the area of silicon innovation is the underpinning of what's gonna make all of these platforms great in the future. More importantly, what we don't want to do is, is continue to drive stagnation and incrementalism in the market. What's not good enough is, is for us to come back in the market in a way that drives this, this, this very consistent uh, increase in, in per clock performance uh, without really innovate, innovating outside of that. More importantly, it's, it's critical that, that we as an industry um, are able to achieve balance in server architectures that allow us to take the next step in, in application development. And so when we talk to customers and really try to get it, it to the heart of what makes this generation of, of applications and data centers so critical, what are the bottlenecks that they're facing? Balance was one of the first key pieces. So many applications choke out on memory very, very quickly, memory bandwidth and, and capacity. So many of them run into bottlenecks from an I.O. perspective as they try to leverage next generation accelerators and the like. And so we wanted to create a system that answered that. So, so what does this mean? So what this really means is that, that AMD, with the help of our, our partners in the ecosystem and our customers, have designed a new uh, CPU from the ground up to address some of the most critical challenges facing the data center today. And, and we consider this a brand new era in, in data center computing. It begins with the, the CPU. So the first thing, and, and many of you should probably have heard of, of this uh, by now, the first aspect of this is core scaling. So we wanted to blow past the constraints that you have today in the choices that you have from an x86 perspective and scale all the way up to 32 cores and, and do it in a way that provides uh, maximum choice when you're thinking about uh, increasing core scaling, perhaps density for virtualized environments, or even taking advantage of those from a parallel compute perspective. 
but clearly that's not enough. I've already talked about this idea of balance within the architecture. So the other thing that, that we, we felt was absolutely critical in this generation is to balance these high-performance Zen cores, 32 high-performance Zen cores with eight channels of memory per socket. Uh, and this is a substantive increase over anything that you can get in the market today, and quite frankly, probably what you're going to get in the market tomorrow from the competitor. We feel this is absolutely critical in making sure that the bandwidth can feed this scale of cores. Equally important, though, is balancing that in, in the age of, you know, the, the idea of the server being a, a box is, is really not relevant anymore, and you guys are at the forefront of that, front of that from an OCP perspective. It's really about cluster. It's about east-west traffic and being able to take advantage of distributed analytics. Having the I.O. to do that, having the I.O. to, to uh, increase your capability to load up a lot of uh, high-performant drives is absolutely critical in this generation of products, so I.O. is absolutely key to the balance of the system as well. And finally, making sure that we're, we're kind of always pressing in terms of creating efficiency and integration at the silicon level this is going to be a, a system on a chip. So this integrates most of the aspects that, that you would uh, expect to find in a PCH or a Southbridge. So now when we talk about 128 lanes, that's 128 lanes that are coming directly out of the CPU complex. Uh, when we talk about things like security coprocessors and, and management capabilities, all of these are highly integrated into the system on a chip itself. So no longer do you have to incur the, the added expense, both from a CapEx and OpEx perspective, of buying a chipset and dealing with that complexity. And most importantly, as you think about this in the context of a two-socket server, which is clearly still the vast majority of the workloads out there are, are indexing towards a two-socket, you now can choose a two-socket because you need the horsepower. You need the core scaling. You can get 64 cores and 128 threads in a two-socket system. These are, these are scaling factors that, that really haven't been an option in the past. Now you have that. Uh, 128 lanes of I.O. balance with 16 memory channels in a two-socket server. We believe this is a very, very significant step in, in server architecture and should truly unlock software architects around the world to take a look at this and reimagine how they deploy their applications. So, so what does this mean? In terms of numbers, what this means is, you know, for, for the, the highest, most uh, uh, feature-rich two-socket server that you can get today, when you deploy Naples, you're able to get 45% more cores, 122% more memory bandwidth, and up to 60% more I.O. These are radical shifts. And this, what, this is what propels us into this new era of rethinking software architecture and what you can do in the data center to achieve the type of performance, the type of scale, the type of efficiency that more and more of you really need in your environments. Equally important, though, as we, as we go down this path is making sure that we're partnering with great partners, great ecosystem partners, great hardware partners. And so uh, what Kashagra mentioned yesterday in, in his keynote, uh, we've got a couple of these sitting in our booth over there. We, we've been partnering for a while with Microsoft and making sure that from an OCP perspective, there are good solid options for Naples in OCP uh, uh, specifications. So uh, along with Microsoft, we've been working for a long time to build this amazing system here. It takes advantage uh, of some of the best aspects of Naples. So if you look here, there are 32 DIMM slots. No, no switch, no, no extra silicon involved. This is all 32, lane, uh, 32 DIMM slots, 16 memory channels in a two socket server, all directly uh, connected to those two sockets. There's also a huge ability to expand your I.O., your networking, your, your uh, accelerator attached. We've been working very diligently to make sure that everything fits in a very tight, um, uh, what is the word, vanity-free perspective, right? So this is the essence of, of what we think uh, makes OCP great, and we're extremely happy to be working with Microsoft to build this product. Equally important, though, is that we wanted to, to, to map to, and we feel like there's a tremendous affinity between what makes Naples Naples and what makes OCP OCP. So when we talk about the, the things, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of standing in your way here. Uh, when we talk about the things that, that really stand out from an OCP perspective, why we're all here, the things that we're trying to achieve, 
uh, with this openness and working together, you know, modularity and flexibility in design. We want to make sure it's not a one size fits all, that there's a, a tremendous opportunity for right sizing and, and getting it right from an application perspective. Scaling. You know, density and scaling go hand, to hand, hand in hand. We want to be able to open up new avenues for that that we've never been able to, to do before. And we see that, you know, the power of AMD and Olympus uh, really capitalizes on that. Clearly, when we talk about a two-socket server with 16 uh, memory channels and all of that bandwidth that's, that's going to come out of it, and, and equally important, the cost-effective scaling uh, with memory, new memory footprints, much higher bandwidth, these things will unlock performance in ways that we've never seen before. And we're really excited to see how Microsoft and, and everybody else who, who takes a look at this spec and, and figures out a way to use it in their environment really pays that off from a performance perspective. And finally, power efficiency uh, and, and flexibility and choice for end users. Clearly at the core of this is this need and, and it's, it's been echoed by partners and customers around the world, they want choice, they want flexibility, they want the ability um, to, to drive innovation through competition. Uh, and we're at the heart of that. And, and we could not be more excited and very happy to take up that charter as we come back into this market. You know, finally, uh, you know, this, this is an important, uh, important time for us. We're on the cusp of, of Naples being available to the public. It's really important that we have conversations like this with you, and I invite you to come over to the AMD booth, uh, tap us on the shoulder, and we'd love to have a more in-depth conversation and, and describe what this, this process and what this generation of technology really looks like. It's absolutely critical that we, as an industry, begin to uh, think about and adopt new architectures. We drive the limits of what's capable from a bandwidth perspective. As we, as we continue down this era of, of scaling compute, we, get, we have to balance that um, with the innovations that are happening that can be taken advantage of from extremely high I.O. footprints and extremely uh, wide pipes into the CPU. We really want to work with you to make sure that this is a product that solves your needs. Uh, both today as well as well into the future. And we're excited not just about Naples, but about everything that comes after it. It's absolutely critical to us that we serve this market well, uh, and we invite you to have those conversations with us uh, as we go forward. So with that, thank you very much. Again, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put the plug in. We've got, uh, we've got the Speedway platform as well as the Olympus platform over in our booth. We would love to show it to you. We'd love to uh, walk you through the paces. We'll fire it up if you really want to. We're extremely excited to be here. We're excited to be a part of OCP. Uh, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you.